been painting for some uh, for five years now. Yeah, and uh, this is my latest series, which is called the Aesthetics of India. And I've tried to portray not a subject, not a person, but the emotions, the feelings. And this this is really the subject of my paintings. Thank you. Really cool. It's more realistic, no? You, you, because you, you see the artwork, you can really feel yeah. what uh, yes. you yes. want to connect. Yes, right? yes. Actually, that was the motive. It was, as I said, it was not about uh, painting somebody realistically uh, or just painting a person. It was about how he feels within him. So it was really about putting the emotions onto the canvas. I, I hope people can connect with them. Amazing. <laughs> For you, what, which one is your favorite? Uh, this and these. These two are my favorite, but if, I, if at all I have to choose one thing, it was for TV. I can say that this is my favorite because uh, probably this is the person I am or the kind of person that I want to be. You know, um, with all the hustle and bustle out there, with all the competition out there, this is the kind of person we need to be, isn't it? Just peaceful, calm, quiet, do all your duties, go out there, do everything that you have to, but within yourself you stay calm, like a mountain, right? So whatever happens outside the mountain, you are still calm and quiet within yourself. So, yeah, that's the kind of person I would like to be myself. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Konstantin uh, from Russia, from Russia, from Moscow. Uh, I'm artist. Uh, the paintings. Uh, the paintings. <laughs> Uh, just tell it uh, by your dialect. Maybe some Russian will see it. Uh, Russian. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, я эти картины сделал uh, в, uh, в прошлом году все. Uh, это все картины тысяч, 2020 -го года. Uh, этот год оказался для меня очень uh, плодотворный. Я сделал очень много работ и Я уверен, что те трудности, которые были во всем мире, в какой-то степени раскрыли часть моего таланта и помогли сконцентрироваться на создании работ. I've been living here in Dubai since 2007 and I've been doing art since 2012 and I tell stories, that's what I do. I tell stories with, um, with my ceramics and I kind of bring, no, that, that's my meaning, I want to bring good vibes to everyone. So for example, like all the little heads, um, they all have a name and they all are vibing or sending their, their uh, unique uh, message to the world. For example, uh, who do we have here? Bisman, he is an idealist, you know, he knows something and he goes for it and it has to be perfect for him. We have here, I love him as well, uh, we have Maynard and he is all about pleasure. So every little head has a character and tells a small story. Yeah, that, that's what I do. <laughs> How long you are doing uh, this art kind of art? Um, this kind of art for the last couple of years. Yes, um, I, it all started with the Lucky 13. Um, these were 13 sculptures um, coming from a planet. And when I was making them, they just, they came. You know, the clay was, was talking to me. And I wrote the story. So again, these came to the people with some, some yeah, good things to share. That's, that's what they did. 
and from then, you know, everything else started. What I did as well, and that's, that's really I want to show you, I set up big slicks. So I made um, one ceramic doll, then I made a mold, then I made the concrete one like this. I made 49 of them, and then I had a collaboration with 34 um, artists that live here in the UAE. And so well, I started telling a story and then they took it and they told their own story and it became beautiful. If you want to see it, it's still here. And Saturday it will move to City Walk. And all of them are uh, up for auction for uh, the Al Jalila Foundation. So uh, it's just a ripple effect of happiness actually. <laughs> That's it. That's what we do. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ashish Kamble and I'm from Pune, India. So this is my wall and I more over concentrate on faces. So I do only faces because I think like uh, there are a lot of people who have different emotions and expressions. So I try to capture them in my style of work. Uh, mostly I do large scale faces so you can see uh, here I have done these faces. So more over I concentrate on the abstract portrait style of my work. So thank you a lot. And uh, this is a great, great platform uh, displaying my word at Dubai World Art Dubai. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bonjour, je m'appelle David Ferreira. Je suis artiste peintre français et je suis à Dubai pour la première fois. Hello. Uh, so his name is David Ferreira. He's a French uh, painter. And it's his first time in Dubai for the what? Um, okay. Mes œuvres, donc j'ai un univers très coloré, très joyeux. Que j'espère qu'il verra à Dubai. So he has a really colorful and joyful universe, a lot of colors, vibrant colors, and he really hopes that um, the people in Dubai are going to like his paintings and his work. How long you are? Uh, how long you are doing the, the, this kind of art? It's been painting for twenty years. Yes, and uh, he's been living from it for thirteen years. Uh, if, if people will ask in this uh, in this um, in this collection, which one is your favorite? It was this one. This is the last, the lastest one that he did, and he did it specially for Dubai. Okay. okay. What, what is the significance of it? Why, why it's uh, your favorite? Because of. Uh... His favorite is always the last one that he does, and when he was thinking about going to Dubai. Uh, he thought about the tunnel, so it, it was like his imaginary of what it was going to be in life. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci, ça va? Ça va? My name is Shadi. Shadi Mosahari. From what city and what country? I am uh, from Tehran, Iran. Uh, uh, can you tell us about your artwork? Uh, actually, normally, because I am so much into the nature, and at the same time, uh, I love the is getting inspired by life experiences. So either I will go with the nature subject and animals because I love them so much, and uh, also I will try to use them, even if I am using any portraits or something, I will use them in my portraits. So. It's a mix of uh, both both experiences with the nature and the life. So some of my artworks are realistic, some other ones are uh, kind of surrealism. So uh, you can find both in my artworks. Uh, how, how long you uh, you start as an artist? It, I am not a long time artist. I, it's just one year I started doing this, uh, but uh, it's my passion. I love it so much and uh, 
it's it's my passion. I love it. <laughs> yeah. If I will ask you, which one is your favorite? favorite? Because uh, as an artist, no, sometimes we have a lot of uh, yes. artwork, but we have a certain one that we really like. Uh, actually, um, I have one favorite which is sold already, and uh, I'm missing it so much. But uh, that one was my favorite. Was the uh, Buddha uh, in meditation and it. A tree was growing out of the head, so uh, you have to see it, then you will know it. <laughs> as, as personal uh, experience of uh, having participated in this uh, in this exhibition, what is the what why you do this? What is the importance of this for you? Actually, I am uh, very much interested to see uh, first of all uh, different types of art because I am so passionate about the art I want to see a different type and get inspired by others also and uh, and at the same time I want to get my feedback from my audience to see uh, what they what is their reaction when they see my artwork so I'm gathering and observing as much as possible so I can improve myself better and better for the next time in future Thank you so much. It's called uh, impressionism. I use only spatula. It's called knife, knife work. And subject is you can say Ganges. You know, Ganges. My subject basically Ganges. And uh, I work. Uh, I have done lots of uh, painting on this subject. And one of my new uh, subject is uh, it's called vibration. It's a drum. It's a moving drum. You know. So, moving this, that means you can carry anywhere. It's like cycle, drum, and there is a gap. And you can see the folk dance, you know, Indian folk dance. It's uh, uh, Actually, this sir is uh, in India. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you're uh, bringing your culture into yeah. brain. Yes. Fusion. It's, it's can, it's, you can call fusion. Fusion. Yeah, I, I try to uh, make fusion. Do you know fusion? Fusion. 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 Okay, fusion. Yeah. So, uh, and this is my third time in uh, Dubai. It's Dubai. Uh, it's very good uh, art fair. And uh, last October, I sold uh, six paintings. <laughs> this is good. Very. Uh, this is a very good market. You can say. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Hello, I'm uh, Asita Germazi. I, uh, I am from Tunisia and it's my first time uh, in Dubai. Uh, and this is my artwork. Mom, can you tell us about uh, about your artwork? What what kind of uh, art is this one? And uh, usually, what are the meaning of this uh, artwork? Uh, it's based on feelings, on uh, emotion. And um, I try to um, I try to um, raconter une histoire uh, dans chaque uh, dans chaque uh, toile uh, à travers les, les personnages que je crée. Uh, how long you are uh, How long you are uh, doing artworks? Uh, since two years. Ah, two years. Yes. 
uh, if, if someone will ask you what in this set of artwork which one is your favorite sorry uh, if someone will ask you about this artwork in your own uh, in your in yourself what which one is your favorite and why um, this one maybe <laughs> Uh, this is your first time to join this. Uh, is this your first time to join this uh, exhibition? Uh, in Dubai, yes. But in Tunisia, I uh, exhibit in Tunisia, in Italy, and the uh, first time in Dubai. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, what is your good name? Uh, my name is Nikhil. Uh, I'm one part of an artist duo called Boozing. Uh, we're basically from Hyderabad, India. Uh, and you can see our uh, portrait of a woman series as represented here and behind me. Uh, basically, the portrait of a woman is a talk on uh, discussing about uh, gender inequality, uh, cultural arrogation towards women, also showcasing how strong, bold women are. Uh, the idea is basically to have a conversation, have something that can get a conversation started uh, between people and basically create some kind of change over the long term uh, and, I, and we think art has the power to really you know propagate that change uh, so that's basically the idea behind the artwork uh, uh, how, how long you're uh, do, doing this so kind of artwork? we've been doing uh, the portrait series from 2017 but we've been doing our artwork for almost a decade now and uh, yeah so we majorly have uh, women as our centric focus. Uh, so we have the Portrait of a Woman series and we also have another series called the Super Woman where we again showcase that uh, the struggles of a woman on a day-to-day -day life uh, could be from, you know, handling the kids to handling uh, work at the same time, multiple things put together. So uh, we create artwork which is uh, women-centric uh, and uh, this is one of those series. Uh, what what you what you uh, what you call this kind of art? Uh, so basically, we're street artists from India, uh, and it's an extension of the kind of street art that we do onto our canvases. Uh, if if someone if I would like to ask you, in this set of uh, artwork, which one is your favorite and why? Um, yeah, that'll be difficult to really pick point. But out of the current plot, I think uh, Be Who You Are, uh, the uh, piece that we've done, we've actually got it hand embroidered. Uh, it's taken an artisan about 33 days to hand stitch. Uh, and yeah, that's a lot of work that's gone into it. So out of the current plot, I think that would be one of my favorite pieces in terms of just the uh, artistic work that's gone into it. But yeah, generally overall, all the pieces that are there, I really like all of them. Is this your first time to uh, participate in this uh, art? Uh, no, we were here in 2019 as well, uh, and this is our second time here. Uh, do you want to uh, give advice to the new artists or inspiring artists? I wouldn't really give an advice, I'd say, but uh, I think just find a topic that you can connect to uh, and then just develop on that. Uh, is basically the stories that you sell is what people buy. So at the end of the day, if your story is something that you can connect to, uh, people will end up buying your art. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Zara Gulamsen. From what city and what country? Uh, so I'm originally from India. I lived for a brief period in the UK. Um, I lived in Dubai after that, and then now I live in France. Yeah. What, uh, can you tell us about your artwork? Uh, so my artwork is inspired by two primary things. Um, one is uh, animals, as you can see, and the other one is uh, Islamic and Indian architecture. So I mix the two forms together to kind of make a fusion. Uh, it's inspired by um, different types of uh, Islamic geometry, of Indian, uh, Indian classical design, uh, and it kind of takes, draws uh, inspiration from our daily lives as well. So that's basically my art. It's a fusion of mandalas and stippling work and uh, yeah.
that's How long you're uh, uh, doing this? I've been doing this for about six years, six plus years, yeah. If I will ask you, which one is your favorite oh. in your <laughs> own artwork? Yeah, in, the, in this collection, I think that one there is my favorite one, yeah. <laughs> Uh, for the new, uh, for the new artists, what can you, what can you advise for? I, I'm a self-taught artist, so I don't have advice on any like techniques or anything of that sort. But just start. That's all I'm gonna say. Just start and keep going. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, my name is Tijin Gopinandan. Okay, from what city and what country? Uh, I'm from India. Okay, uh, can you tell us? Can you tell us about your uh, yeah, uh, what, what are you going to do? What are the what is yeah, sure. this kind of art? Uh, actually, I'm a doodle artist. Uh, uh, every year I am participating in World at Dubai and I will do live painting on the wall. But for a change, I want to do this year on a car. And I use the peelable paint for doing the artwork. So after the event, we can peel it off. The original paint will remain the same. Okay. <laughs> And uh, one more thing, I am uh, doing artwork related to the international artists around the world. So uh -huh. it will be like 10 international artists, Van Gogh, Picasso kind of artists. Uh, you, you, you want it to, to, to yeah, put it there? Yeah, right now there. Van Gogh is there, Farida okay. Kailo is there. Oh, then uh, you will put yeah, it will, also yeah. on the other the side. sides. Ah, cool, huh? So it's a four days project. Maybe last day you can see the finished project. How long did you do this thing? Uh, actually, I started uh, doodle from once I came here in Dubai. It's 2013 I started doing doodle. Before I used to do like lot of realistic paintings, uh, murals, mural paintings and mm. But once I came here, I uh, tried to do something uh, different. Because everyone is doing the normal watercolor painting, acrylic painting. For the doodle, that time uh, there is not much artist who do doodle. Mm -hmm. So I am the first one of the artists who did a doodle art exhibition back in 2013. Okay. And I am the first artist in the GCC to did a live painting with a robot. We have a project that will uh, a robot will do the painting. Ah, okay, so cool. I huh? interacted with the robot and me and the robot will do the painting. That kind ah, of a project nice. we did Something... two years back. <laughs> oh, I should uh, watch that. I didn't know the robot. <laughs> I will send you the, share, uh, the video. Also. Oh. <laughs> Uh, for, for the new artists, what can you uh, advise to them? Uh, actually, um, every artist needs to try something unique. And only their, their um, art and their art, uh, what, their identity will stay unique. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to say to other artists. Because it need to be like very creative and at the same time need to be unique. <laughs> thank you so much. No thank you, thank you. Yes.